right, welcome to my day 12 progression guy. So again, it looks like our level has not increased. So I would do Mia's Kitchen, your bounties, skip the ruins, and skip the main story. For Vitality, you can consider doing a joint operations if you're trying to push the bygone phantasm. Here you have a chance of getting a purple belt. Still, I don't really think it's worth it because you might not even get a purple belt. Then you want to check your stargates. Remember, make sure that this category right here is at least two or more. Then after that, I would do space-time domains. Remember, do difficulty three or dimensional trials at difficulty three. Next, make sure you're doing your daily gifts. So you want to go to the black market and talk to Hopkins. You want to go to Cetus Island and do the claw machine. Then after that you want to do your two ability trainings next maintain your vehicle remember you can go to astra shelter bangi shelter the black market are the best place high gross don't forget to check your weekly tab and make sure you complete everything i need a joint operation remember you can go in those and you don't have to collect the boxes so i'm just going to do the easy mode and clear that next don't forget about our challenges we have the wormhole it resets in about four days so don't forget to do that then we have frontier clash if you're trying to go get some purple armor or you might be saving for next week. You got the Void Rifts, where you want to try to get some gold matrices. Don't forget about Apex League. If you're trying to push that Grand Marshal, you probably want to at least be spending about an hour or so a day. Then we got the Bygone Phantasm. Today is the last day to push your rank. And the higher rank you get, the more rewards you can get next week. So try to make your character as strong as they can and push as many floors as you can in the Bygone Phantasm. Next, don't forget about your daily buys. So you want to go to Shop, Hot, and buy your two vitality solutions if you can afford on top of that you want to make sure you go to commissary and you go to the crystal dust store try to get at least all purple gear hopefully you got a helm and a belt then for my whales don't forget we can buy two copies of a weapon a week so if you have 240 black gold make sure you buy your two weapons don't forget about the crew store to where you can buy some potent omnium crystals next we have the support store and today is the last day to buy your joint supply chips remember you need 2700 points and the max points you can get a day are 1500 here's a couple really good ways to get this farm world bosses that'll give you at least 100 support points and machine parts but make sure you're forced to ciphering when you're collecting the rewards another really good powerful way is that if you do frontier clash and you help people out and you already collected your rewards you can get 375 support points on top of that you could also do void rifts to where you can get 150 points and the last thing you can do which i kind of believe is optional considering today is the last day for the bygone you can go achievement hunting and try to get some more rolls or try to get more exploration on the map and the last thing you can do is try to go mount farming well hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if so check out my day 10 guide or check out my guide on how to increase your cs but other than that talk to you guys later